Hey Virgo, welcome back to the channel. It's Kelly from House of Virgo. So we're going to take a look at November, see what messages come out here for you. If you would like to get a personal reading, there's a link in the description box below this video. And I'm still running those specials, so for November, so go check those those discounted personal readings. Um, yeah, so let's get into this and see what messages we have here for you. We're going to do repair, evolution, growth. So we're going to check out this deck and see what comes up for you. Virgo Sun, Moon Rising, or Venus. Don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe. All right, Virgo. Okay, you've got past life karma cycles. This indicates a past life is the reason why the intense energy surrounds you. The person or situation Look into ways to clear past life karma and see the bigger picture of the situation by viewing it from a lesson perspective. Take ownership for your part. Forgiveness is a key in releasing past life karma. All right. Very interesting. Let's see. What else do you have? Okay. Protection needed. So it is vital at this time to protect your energy field as others may be projecting negative energy onto you. You may also be in an environment for which you are absorbing negative vibes that are draining you. Call in Archangel Michael for protection and to clear your energy field. Having a practice of grounding and putting a protective bubble around you every day will be helpful. I love that. All right, let's see what else do you need to know? last one here and you have creativity very nice one of the ways the divine wants to connect with you is through creative expression it gets you out of your busy mind to feel listen and know how best to flow the energy through you you're being called to tap into your creative side to reconnect and discover many talents be open to the process and let it flow without judging yourself virgo all right, good, here, okay. So basically, it looks like in November, you're being asked to let go of a past life karmic situation. It feels like, this is kind of like, you know, something that you played a role in, Virgo, um, whether it was, how can I say this? If there was a, a, a situation that, that from your past that if you want to break this karmic cycle, I feel like you need to learn the lesson from this or else this is just going to keep repeating. Okay. So it's kind of like whatever role that you played in a past life karmic kind of situation, your message here is to like acknowledge that, accept that, learn from it and move forward. So that you're not, you don't keep repeating this. Also with this protection, stay away from negativity, Virgo. People, places, or things here. And it's calling on Mark, uh, Archangel Michael to protect you. Because I feel like you may be in maybe some type of negative energy in November. And you really need to keep away from that. Whether that's at your work or in a family situation or in some type of a relationship that you're having. They're saying ground yourself, meditate, ask for a protective bubble to be placed around you. There's some other people. It feels like you are going to like people who are external to you um, will be projecting. So you need to protect yourself from that energy. Also, this creativity, I feel like this will help you as you focus on the things that you need to, uh, you know, when you're focused on creative endeavors, you, you kind of, it just, it's like a distraction. It gets your mind away from all of the things that kind of make, it gives you like a mental break. So if you're a creative person, Virgo, or you want to tap into something creative in November, this would be the time to do it. I feel like you're going to find out that even if you're someone who's not really all that creative, uh, I feel like you're going to find, you're going to be heavily surprised by the things that you're actually able to do in a creative sense. Okay. So, you know, you might see something like a video or you might see 
someone crafting or creating something you might want to give it a try kind of you know how they put things out like that and it makes they make it look so easy but you might like hmm i think i let me try that and i swear this takes you down this amazing road of opening yourself up you find out that you actually can do better than what they're showing you or what you've seen i don't know it's an interesting message um, to start off your reading here virgo and it kind of feels like you maybe this is something that you need to hear Let's take a look. I want to pull a couple of romance angels. Okay. Hmm. So I feel like you may come to terms that someone that you thought was going to be your one and only, it turns out um, there's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep a relationship going. So I feel like maybe you lose attraction for someone, Virgo. Or the chemistry there's something here that's saying looks like you're not gonna go through with something or you make a decision or you come to realize that there's it feels I don't want to say that there's I don't know Virgo it feels like you're just like wait I don't really feel it's like you're not attracted to someone or there's chemistry is no longer there with someone some of you might be like getting married and then you're like you get to know someone I, uh, that's kind of what it feels like you, you get to you get to know someone better and you're like nah <laughs> they're not really my true love <laughs> Virgo <laughs> this could be somebody new yeah you're connecting with someone in November or someone that you have a connection with that you th you're like oh this is the romance of a lifetime and you, you get to know each other I kind of feel like it's like nah I, it's not like a breakup but it's just like well i'm not yeah not like you know like you release somebody you release an ex or you release somebody you're like yeah this person chews with their mouth open it's just it's a deal breaker <laughs> i don't know it's like a deal breaker sorry you're so amazing but like dude close your mouth when you chew i don't know i'm just that's an example okay so there's a releasing of an ex or there's a there's a realization that like perhaps the person that you thought was like the one turns out you're like nah that, they're not the one that's not the one okay could it be the one this could be the one no that's not the one okay so you're releasing someone for sure yeah you're not you don't have someone up on like any kind of pedestal or anything like that you're i feel like you're just seeing someone for who they really are right and looks like you're kind of extending your light-hearted energy to others flirting talking to other people um putting yourself out there something that could turn into an engagement in your future right so there is an energy here of this feels mostly like you you're just kind of like eh. I, th I think maybe you, your rose there's some rose color glasses that come off does that does that resonate for you all right let's see what your island time messages are here some rose color glasses come off all right there is a soul connection a soulmate a soul contract also hmm yeah options you know what Virgo uh, a soul contract gets kind of like finished here, definitely. And this is kind of a reiteration of what I'm saying. And it actually brings in more abundance for you. That where you kind of see, I want to say that maybe you realize that there's other options out there. You're not interested. Uh, something just leaves you. Some kind of soul connection that you have with someone or partnership or soul contract that might have been um, a kind of a relationship or it was like a situation ship or just maybe a friends with benefits kind of thing and um i feel like you leave it or you look at other options it, or it leaves you this this whole situation is like no that's not for me okay so i feel like we just kind of outdid that a little bit let's get into some tarot what messages do you have what else does virgo need to know for the the month of november Okay. 
Okay, okay. There's that damn King of Swords. Keeps on showing up. Masculine or feminine energy. King of Swords is like, hey, think about it. There's a there's a a long term relationship kind of thing. Wow, okay. So air energy could be a uh, Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius, doesn't have to be. There's communication coming from a King of Swords, and this feels like not okay, it could be anybody, but either way, they're saying the King of Swords is kind of saying, think about it before you leave, weigh it out. So this could be the person that you're walking away from that you're like, nah, you're not you're not really not my person. I thought you were. Sorry, you're not. And I kind of feel like they're like, well, hold up a minute. <laughs> Wait, they might try to just tell you to give it another thought or think about it a little more. Okay, fine, whatever. Um, and then for others of you, there's definitely this air energy that's telling you before you get in another relationship, make sure you like really figure out this is what you want. <laughs> like a little bit of an advisor. Like, do you have an advisor? Uh, you might. Okay. This King of Swords is not letting up. I will tell you that. Not going to let up. Okay, there is some gossip too. There's some communication. Let me see. Spying. Somebody's spying on you. Watching your every move. Very curious about what you're doing, who you're talking to, where you're going. How many creams you like. How many sugars you like in your coffee. Really curious about you. Or asks you. Do you like your coffee super, super hot? Or do you like it medium? Hmm. So you could be connecting with someone at a coffee shop that's like goes to buy you coffee. That's what I'm hearing. Nothing here screams coffee. Except maybe a little bit of a percolator energy. But I'm definitely picking up some kind of coffee shop thing. Or tea. Right? Tea bag boiling over. What do you want in your tea? I'm hearing somebody ask you that. Uh... Okay, what does this even mean? Oh, yeah, okay. Knight of Cups. Hmm. And then they bring it to you on a horse. <gasps> no, just kidding. <laughs> Here's your coffee. <laughs> this is how um, DoorDash is getting around now. They're riding on horses. <laughs> Somebody's bringing you, like, um, they're bringing you a beverage. And it's a love thing. Somebody wants to buy you like a drink or ask you what you want to drink or what do you want in your drink? <laughs> Giddy up. Bring that horse on over here. Bring that horsey over here. Give me my drink, yes. <laughs> How do you like your coffee? How do you like your tea? There's a romance, like a romantic kind of a date or just a meetup kind of thing. All right. In November. For some of you, it might be kind of shocking. Could be a Scorpio. Could be a Pisces. Again, an air sign. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Okay. 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 Let me see. This is, for some of you, this could be the person that you just like, no, I'm sorry, I'm not interested. Bye. Okay, bye. Okay, thanks. Bye. Or this, if you do decide that you don't want to, ah, you know, I don't see like new love coming in, but I see somebody's definitely coming in. Okay. There's definitely abundance. There's some kind of, and this is a love reading. It's just going that way. There is some kind of new, like it doesn't feel serious. You know, doesn't, it doesn't feel serious to me. It just feels kind of romantic and charming. And nothing too serious which some of you i know are just like that's fine with me that's perfectly fine you know i hope you guys can see my cards i don't know if it's bright enough let me see what else is going on here i'll make it brighter next time okay sagittarius oh wow So right now, I feel like everything's calm, everything's peaceful, but things are going to start moving in November, big time. There's heavy movement and fast 
and some good news coming in for you. Oh, wow. Yeah, movement. Fast. Maybe some travel. There might be a Sagittarius that will be connecting with you or traveling. Uh, there'll be travel connected to a Sagittarius or a Cancer. But um, I feel like um, Virgo... There's a big swift change coming and this is this is like um this is um they're giving me the word pivot like a big like a pivot So what is this news specifically I feel like some of you are going to get communication that somebody's going to be in your area or going to be yeah that's what they're saying somewhere near near or in your area let me see mm. Mm -mm -mm. um this feels to me like someone's coming in here to reveal something to you They want to tell you something. There's a big reveal coming in. Someone coming from afar wants to reveal something to you. They've manifested something. They've started something new and they want to tell you about it. Some kind of creative uh, project of some sort or something creative. And they want to tell you about it. Oh, and about their success. I feel like they're they're going to be... So the Six of Wands, this is like someone that has a lot of support. Or fans. Or just someone who's got a lot of attention. Recognition. Good news. Success. So it could be a Gemini or it could be a Scorpio. Also could be um, an Aries. They're coming in to tell you about a lot of success that they're having. They want to share it with you. Oh, there's also an apology for leaving you out in the cold, I'm hearing. Or for some kind of an ab uh, abandonment. There's some kind of an ab uh, abandonment that happened. I'm hearing a po like an apology for leaving you when you were sick or when you were ill or not reaching out or not calling or not talking to you when you needed them most, okay? Or for isolating you or when you were worried about something is apology for some kind of some kind they were worried. They were worried. What were they worried about? Okay. Somebody, these messages are just all over the place. Somebody was, somebody's worried that you weren't interested. And it could be this person up here where you just are kind of like, nah, goodbye. Um, listen, I feel like the overall message, like there's a lot of different things that are happening. And I can't seem to get a handle on what the one main message is. But I think... It's about you moving on or moving forward, perhaps putting a karmic kind of a situation or a past relationship to an end and someone really trying to make sure that that doesn't happen in some way, like fully, because it's like, it's, it feels like a sh shocking, like a shocking end. Hmm. And it, so, I don't know, Virgo, I just don't get a sense that you're, it's really going to shock you to come to terms with someone not really being what you thought, yeah. Yeah, you're focusing on your wishes and your dreams and a new chapter in your life. You know, even if it's just somebody that you're casually dating, you know, and this person is just kind of like... Oh, don't give up. Don't give up. But I don't know, Virgo. I feel like when you make up your mind, then your mind's made up.
why is it so damn dark in here? Then your mind's made up. You're not really interested in ha dragging stuff out here or dragging anything out that doesn't really need to be drug out. You know what I mean? Maybe somebody has a drug problem. I don't know, Virgo. I just kind of feel like you're, or there's an addiction, or you notice something like that. I just feel like your energy is like, nope, turn the page. Turn the page on your blessings, going after what you feel is, you know, going to make your wishes and dreams come true. Happiness, joy, contentment. That's really what it is. Abundance, good health. The cornucopia. Look, even with this pumpkin here, it's very November energy. So yeah, Virgo, I, I don't know. It just, it just feels like the overall message is you're moving on to something or a new situation or just on your own, whatever it is. There's just something here that you come to terms with that you really don't want to engage with, some type of relationship. And I feel like whoever this person is just really wants you to give it another thought or to think about it. And that's fair. If that's what they need you to do, okay, you could say, okay, I'll think about it. And then there you are looking out over the horizon. Do we have a future together? Uh, possibly, but I'm not really going to put much effort into this because it just, it feels to me like, I don't know, maybe you'll think about it, but I, I, I just don't really, nothing for November at least is giving me this vibe where you really want to indulge could be with a Libra. You just don't, yeah. If you think about it, you're going to take your own sweet time thinking about it and not give an answer. Yeah. Don't push me is what I'm hearing. You want me to think about it? Okay, but don't push me. Back off. That's, that's true Virgo style. Back off. <laughs> I need my space. Yeah, or else you're going to, you want to get in the ring? If you, if you push me, you want to get in the ring because you're going to lose. That's Virgo. That's your energy. Yep, because I'll come at you. <laughs> I'm just kidding, Virgo. Don't go after anybody. But I'll come at you. Look, full force. Aggressively. Give me my space. You want your space, Virgo. You don't want the drama. You want space. You want space to figure out what it is that you need to do for yourself. Gosh, why is my phone in the camera view? I got a new camera view here, you guys, and it's just not making me happy. Feels very dark. Okay, sorry. I'll try to brighten it up before I upload the video. All right, two more messages for Virgo. Okay, Virgo, your... Looks to me, the overall thing here is your focus here is... I don't really see you being all that interested in love. Like, you got options. But it looks to me like um, you might consider your options or it might have too many options or too many choices to make. Um, it looks to me like you're more focused on your income, money, stability, security for yourself. That seems to be like the most prominent thing for you. And it feels to me like you're doing a little vetting um, and kind of just saying to yourself, do I see someone fitting into my future? Do I see, or do I see this particular person, do they fit into my future? And it's not emotionally based, it's not an emotionally based decision. It's more of a practical decision. Because I kind of feel like your energy is like, well, if they don't fit into my future, um, that doesn't mean I'm not going to have a future. If someone wants to be a part of my future, that's fine too, but they got to kind of fit. We got to fit each other like a puzzle piece, right? So yeah, I kind of feel like that's the overall message, you know, and some of you are just really trying to focus more on your abundance and there's some kind of relationship or people in your life that are having an effect on your ability to do that. And it looks like you're cutting that out or cutting particular people out or a particular person. All right, let's see what your cosmic insight message is here. 
Yeah, give it time. Everything in divine timing. Let things flow. I don't see you rushing. There's no need to rush. Something ending, something beginning. Cycles. You're going through a cycle shift right now. Things are shifting. Looking forward to the future, Virgo. And about commitment. Or about making a connection with someone. Something feels like more serious. Not just casually dating or anything like that. It kind of feels to me like that's... You're not taking anything less than that. Otherwise, you're just committed to yourself. And that's fine. But you do have someone that's... I do feel like it's going to... They are not going to be... They want you to think about it or think it over. Or think again. <laughs> I don't know what the reason would be. Why? Maybe because it's a karmic relationship. Or was. But it looks like, no, it's not the right time to connect with this person. Or to... I want to say to even really give it much thought in November. <laughs> I get yes. <laughs> That's right. My message was correct. Is it going to be no or is it going to be yes? What do you want to do, Virgo? Oh. Hmm. Might be a water sign. Who could be kind of asking you. No or yes. Yes or no. Okay. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Hmm. Some of you got an itch to move or relocate or travel or change your residence. Being bewitched. Some of you want to move. Are you moving? Are you thinking about relocating? I feel like November is definitely going to be uh, like something comes over you. Or you find a place. Or, or yeah, you find a place that you want to go. Some of you are setting up some kind of like, um, maybe like a store or a shop that sells crystals or or cards or incense or candles or something like that you could be looking for that place there, it could be with an air sign or communication with an air sign about this there's also someone in your life who's trying to figure out their sexuality hmm this person struggles with money. They could have a gambling problem or an addiction. But they struggle with money. And they may be at a distance to you. Okay, Virgo. I'm just going to pull a few more cards. And then I'm going to move over to the charms. Alright, there's a mature male who will be significant in your life in November. Could have gray hair. This could also be you, where you make yourself a priority. You don't have to have gray hair, could. Or it's just an energy of um, your recognition. Maybe you feel like you're getting older or that you've matured a great deal. Okay, and there could be travel. This could be like with a friend. Travel coming up in November with a friend. Someone mature in age. Oh, this could be a past life person too. Past lover. Well, we saw that. There is a connection to Egypt as well. Pharaohs. Giza. Pyramids. Egyptian. Deja vu. Past life. Hmm. Past love. Coming to see you or connecting with you. All right. You do have good luck and money, though, in November. So that's good. And you have a new love. New person. This person's unknown. Hmm. This is somebody totally new. You've never met them before. Also, is going to be showing up in November. Somebody new. Right now. As of right now. Well, it is November. Maybe you've already met them. And you never knew them before or it will be coming for you or happening. 
and you also have fun times parties events having fun okay so it looks like a good time it will be like the kind of start of the holiday season so you guys will be definitely being more festive so if that's you and you're all into no by the way you guys i put my christmas tree up today holla so there's definitely an energy of having fun getting into a more festive time maybe going to concerts parties events doing i don't know it could be outside at night watching meteor showers with friends or people in your life looks like a lot of fun in november okay all right let's get your day two of capricorn significant to you leo pisces and libra okay virgo september 5th September 11th, 56, 48, 86, 90, 76, August 24, August 27, 42, 72, 51, 63, September 13th, 37, 31, September 10th, September 4th okay October through January is going to be significant time period for you or it was January through October was a very significant time period something happened okay so let's see somebody's getting into showbiz there's Giza didn't I just say that pyramids of giza some connection to egypt all right some connection to your dog something's going on with your dog in november all right let's see so we have the initial z q yeah there's your x your ex is coming to visit or it's going to be significant somehow some way showing up in november okay so you have an X, Q, Z, and X. If your name starts, if your initial, if it's in your name somewhere, Q, Z, or X, please leave me a comment, especially if it's your first name. Some of you are going to be seeing your cousin or connecting with your cousin in November. Okay. We have the letter S. There's a C. U, E. Somebody thinks you're really cute. A. Somebody plays pool, like the sport, the game, pool. B, somebody's in Cuba. There's Cuban. <clears throat> N, someone's in Chile. Bane, someone's last name is Bane. We have a G, the letter O, and the letter, the letter D. N Nabiri, Nabiri. Somebody's drinking gin. Sipping on gin and juice. Lay back. Okay. Mandy. Daniel or Danielle. Ben. Somebody has a goiter. I just heard goiter. Debbie. Deborah. Grant, Ian, Diane, Nancy, somebody's getting their DNA checked, doing something with their DNA, Queen, Donna, Donna, Donella, Donatella, Donatella. Godin. Someone's last name is Godin. All right, let's do your charms. Let's get your charms. All right, Virgo. Got some red lips. Red lips. 
Red lipstick. Kisses. Lots of kisses. Or kiss emojis. Getting kiss emojis. Or kisses. You also have ballerina shoes. Somebody's a ballerina or dances. Is a dancer or maybe used to be. Okay. Also seeing a little boy with a baseball cap. Yep. Well, a little boy or maybe a little girl, like a child. Child, let me say that. A child with a baseball cap. So, could be like, um, what do you call that? Little kids play t-ball or something. Connection to a little child playing some kind of a sport. Maybe it's a grandchild. Now, I'm also feeling, um, when I'm looking at this, this, it looks like a seashell, but I'm feeling like a sconce from the 1930s. Some kind of decoration, 1930s decor, or 1920s, like a, a wall sconce with a light. Big connection to that. Okay, you also have a four-leaf clover. So there's a connection. Well, getting lucky. There's luck coming your way. We saw luck and money right here, Virgo. Remember, you're gonna get you're gonna get some money or fall into some wealth happening in November. So that's good. There's could be a connection to Ireland as well or Irish. You also have stocking and a little reindeer. Okay, so Christmas vibes, candy canes, stockings, very Christmassy. Getting ready to celebrate Christmas, I mean, in November, okay. Or doing something around the Christmas holidays or just getting excited for the holidays. If you're like me, you're doing it. Okay, I'm also hearing methylene blue. That's a weird word. Methylene blue. <clears throat> Excuse me. Hold on, let me see if I can... Yeah. Uh, methylene blue is like some kind of dye, blue dye. It's supposed to like regenerate your cells or something. Maybe somebody's taking that. You also have a peace sign. Alright, so connection to the 60s or 70s. Somebody was born in the late 60s. <clears throat> or near, um, I don't know, where was Woodstock? In Pennsylvania, I think. Connection to, um, oh, I forget that place in San Francisco, I think it was, where all the hippies used to hang out back in the 60s. What was that called, that street? I can't remember. It's on the tip of my tongue. If you if you know, if you guys can remember, leave me comments. I always need help because I need some of that methylene blue. Let me tell you what. Okay, and you also have like a marquee star. So if somebody's going to the movies or is going to see a movie or just saw a movie, it's a marquee. Let's see your favorite star. Oh, okay. That's weird. So it's like a white moon with a little star. But to be fair, the first thing I they were telling me is um, a vanilla peanut butter cup. Taking a bite out of vanilla peanut butter cup. I would never... I mean, does anybody like them? Somebody does. Somebody likes vanilla peanut butter cups. That's all I'm saying. And it's not me. <laughs> I need my... It's got to be chocolate, you guys. It's got to be chocolate and vanilla. But anyway, whatever. You like what you like. So, all right, Virgo. Those are your messages for November. I hope that made sense. Usually when I'm talking, I'm like, what's going on? There's so many messages coming through my head. And sometimes I'll listen back and I'm just like, oh, I guess it makes sense. So, I hope it wasn't too confusing for you guys. It seems like a lesser serious week as com as it compared to last week was a very serious week um but anyway yeah go leave that there thanks everybody for being here for being in the chat hello to the mods shout out to persephone she's gonna be gone for a little bit but she'll be back and um thanks you guys don't forget click like on the way out to help the video get out reach more people helps the channel a great deal and uh, i will see you all back here tomorrow bye i just can't let you go Lord knows that I've tried to You said I was the only one No one likes being lied to 
You made this mess and left me with the pieces Now I wanna burn all the bridges between us Ooh. 